all you cool cats and kittens. I'm Paige from 3D HQ. And I'm Fabian. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be walking you through how to clean your mask. Right? So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you're popping out the filter and tossing it in the trash. Once that's done, you're going to want to throw your gloves away too. Thank you, Paige. And you're going to go wash your hands and try to follow the steps that the CDC recommends. Totally. So from there, with the clean hands, you're going to wash your mask. We recommend using some soap and some warm water to burn yourself, um, but coronavirus has a lipid layer and soap will therefore dissolve the lipid layer and kill the virus. Very important to use soap. So go ahead and submerge your mask and give it a nice little bath. And throw your frame in there too. And as you're doing that, you know, again, you just want to take every step you can to make sure that the mask is as clean as you can get it. Wash off all that gunk and filth and virus. Nasty virus. All right. So then, we're going to take your mask and your frame out. And you're going to spray them with a disinfectant for an extra layer of protection. We have Lysol, has some scents in it. You can also use a spritz of rubbing alcohol or hydrogen peroxide. Um, anything to just give it that extra layer of please no germs. So. Okay. And from there, you'll let your mask air dry. And once it's ready in the morning, make sure that you're replacing it with a new filter as well. And then, the last step is make sure that you wash your hands at least one more time. Yeah, so anytime you could potentially be coming in contact with something that has a virus, you're going to want to wash your hands. The mask could have had some on the outside particularly, you're going to want to wash your hands. So. Thank you guys, and if you have any information you'd want to share with us, please send it our way. And until then, stay safe, Casey. Whee!